Welcome, guys. Today, I would like to invite you to take a day trip with me and my children to a local art supply store called Jerry's Art Rama. And the reason I wanted to share this is because as soon as I stepped foot inside, I immediately felt nostalgic over growing up in New York City. And my dad used to take me to all these different art stores. And this automatically reminded me of it and I, I was so happy my daughter um actually made fun of me because she couldn't understand why I was so excited and I'm like Tiana this is the equivalent of a fidget store for you <laughs> but anyways if you are new to my channel my name is Tania Lopez and I'm the artist behind Art E Son and if you are a returning friend Thank you for coming back. I truly appreciate your visits every time. Um, as you guys can see, there is a little bit of everything here. And it's nothing knocking, you know, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and all these other chain stores because I still shop in those places. But this is just uh, uh, different. I do like to support locally owned and privately owned um especially when look at this like they have so many different kinds of papers sketchbooks all the brands that you normally would not be able to find in other stores they have it all here and so i wanted to just show you guys and just showcase it just a little bit All right, guys, so as mentioned, that was just a quick little snippet of the trip to Jerry's Artorama here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And actually, those clips were from two different days. The first day I went on, uh, I think it was just me. Um, and I went specifically to get the postcard markers because I had done a Google search to see where I can find those markers somewhere around me without me having to buy them online and unfortunately when you go to michael's or um, hobby lobby you only see the pack of i think eight of the primary colors and i wanted to be able to find all those different kinds of colors plus the sizes and so as you can see in in the video you saw it looks almost like a vending machine and that was the first time that i went and i was so excited because i was able to get different sizes so i got three different sizes here but i think they got two others like they got the really large ones uh for either big pieces of course i think these markers are mostly known for graffiti um type art but either way i just wanted to make sure that i found a place that i can get these and that i can get them um individually too because a lot of places you just gotta buy sets um especially online uh so i was so excited that i was able to find this plus also as far as the coloring pencils not just prisma but all sorts of different kinds of brands you can get them there individually as well now what i also like about the store on top of the fact that is not a, a large franchise you it's still big enough that you can actually order from them online but you also find brands that you wouldn't normally find in other again larger chain stores and these kind of stores just again remind me of back home in new york when you saw a lot of more privately owned um 
stores and in fact i was doing some reading up on their website turns out that the person who founded the store is from new york so i'm sure he knew what <laughs> or at least what i'm talking about right um but again i just love these kind of stores i'm just going to show you really quick what i have gotten from there and then what i do want to ask from you guys is that if you know other stores such as this one in north carolina or at least on the east coast that i can visit at some point go ahead and comment that below because again i love those kind of stores that when i go to different cities or different towns the things that i look for are things that are unique to that area especially when it's art related so um on my video for my birthday getaway i did show you the soho color pencils this is the brand like again i'm not quite sure and i've said this before and i try to look it up and i'm not really quite sure but what i want to say is that this is the the brand the, not necessarily the store brand but i guess the brand that they associated themselves with i'm not quite sure i gotta do more research on that but these are the color pencils that i showed you on my birthday getaway my mom did try them out and she said they're very soft and and she loves them i haven't used them myself because i don't typically use color pencils but it is a mission of mine this one is the 24 uh color set but i think they also have a 48 if i'm not mistaken plus they sell these individually so that's always a plus for me and then last time i went with my mother because my mother has been shopping with them um online and she never told me like it's just so funny because my mom sometimes finds things that she just doesn't tell me uh -huh. but she has been ordering stuff from them online and then you know um she found out that i went there because it just so happened that it's around the corner from me and so she came to visit me and i took her there and so i bought this for her and i bought myself one this turner acrylic gouache said i've been wanting to try acrylic gouache i never have and i found this absolutely adorable like the set is just so cute and um let's see and like i said this brand i haven't seen in the other stores and so i want to go ahead and try stuff that's normally not here right so you have your your basic colors as well as some pastels up there and then from the same brand i saw this other color it's called um opera red and this is acrylic gouache as well and i saw that and if you see it because they have it there kind of like swatched it is just so pretty and my mother fell in love with this one as well they got a whole bunch of other colors that i definitely have to go back and get because they are beautiful but um and this is also turner's again i've never heard of it maybe you some of you guys may have but beautiful beautiful colors and i'm very excited to get and oh and i did get some of those marker boards that i showed you on one of those clips because um, I feel that the alcohol markers when it comes to the sketch papers even when it's supposed to be for that kind of paper I don't know how to work it and I was hoping that maybe this is thicker and maybe I can work this a little better so we will see but anyways again um, if you guys know a store around you especially if it's in North Carolina that is kind of similar to it go ahead and comment it so I can go and visit and if you do like content such as this one you know more of local areas to go whether it's to purchase or maybe to view art or maybe to do something artsy let me know so i can go ahead and maybe do some more videos like that and if you would please go ahead and subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you next time